What's up guys, it's January 19th and this is another episode about living in a minivan. Uh, today the first real winter storm blew in and we're supposed to get 20 centimeters of snow here today. And tonight's going to be my coldest night yet, negative 14 degrees Celsius. So I'm all bundled up in my sleeping bag and my thermal bivy. I've got a few layers of clothing on. Uh, up until now, my mindset's always been with bicycle touring and scraping by with the bare minimum. But here in the van, it's a little bit different. I can bring more options to help keep myself warm. Uh, this is a new cheap addition. I can boil some water and that'll stay warm for a good four or five hours. And if I've got to fire up the engine and drive around the block, I can do that too. But this van doesn't have any ins insulation or anything, so the cold air comes in pretty fast. Uh, tonight should be interesting because as the stores close up, I imagine the snow plows will be around to clear out the parking lots, so I might have to shift myself around a few times to stay out of the way. I don't want to wake up under a snowbank in the morning. Um, but it's about 12 a.m. now, and the restaurant I'm parked at closes at 1 a.m., so I might have to move soon. I guess the van does have a little bit of insulation against the elements. It usually takes a few hours for the inside and outside temperatures to equal out. But right now, I think it's about time to move myself and boil up some water for the hot water bottle here. So it took about three boils to warm it up good, but I'll put it in my sleeping bag now and keep my feet warm. And just to be dramatic, <laughs> my heater finally ran out of propane. But that 10 pound tank lasted me well since October. So I'm guessing maybe one or two more tanks to get me through the winter. And they're only about eight bucks a pop to top them up. So last night I moved to my second spot and I just started to get settled in and the snow plow showed up. He was trying to clear out all around my van so I decided to move on to a third spot and that one actually turned out to be pretty good. Uh, I slept in till 7 a.m. this morning and the temperature in here was negative 10 degrees Celsius. I was a bit worried that the insides of the windows would be all covered in frost but surprisingly it wasn't a big deal. Um, but it's definitely something to think about if you want to live in a city where snowstorms are more common. You might actually want to rent a driveway or a garage or something just to stay out of the way and sleep in peace. But uh, other than that, I still want to do another video about my budget in January. So maybe that'll be the next one. So uh, thanks for watching and thanks for your comments and thanks to uh, Patreon supporters. And I'll see you next time. So there's already some frost forming on the inside of the window here. It's just the moisture that I put out from breathing. Um, I have an idea of how I'm going to deal with that. I'm going to try to stop breathing for about five hours and see how that goes.